Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker. And it is time for another Tuesday toss-up. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Oh, oh, boo, 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 boo. See, I was trying so hard right then to not say the exact same thing I say every single time I start these Tuesday toss-ups. Like I'm normally like, welcome back to the average drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker. And it's time for another Tuesday toss-up. Woo, I'm so excited. So I didn't do the same thing that I always do. We'll see how that goes, right? <laughs> All right, so you guys know the drill by now. Got two different pours in front of me. I'm gonna pick which one I like better based on nose, palette, and finish, and then I'm gonna rank them and we're gonna figure out what they are. Bill poured them, as always. So, thank you guys so much for being here, as always. I really appreciate you, I'm so grateful for you. Now, let's do this thing. Cheers to you. That was kind of measly, but whatever. Let's do this. Glass number one. It smells sweet. A little bit of cinnamony, vanilla. Lightly caramel. Whoa, a little bit of orange peel. Kind of like, kind of like smells like uh, the creamy, not creaminess, the like dusting, not the dusting. Yeah, well, sometimes if you dusted a cinnamon roll before you put it in the oven, like if you put a little bit on it, a little bit of like dusted biscuits without the oiliness of the butter, and then when it came out, you have that cinnamon roll glaze that kind of comes up. It's kind of what it smells like a little bit. Overall, it smells pretty nice. It does not burn the nose hairs. Yeah, it smells good. Whoa, holy sweet. Sweet and rich. Yeah, definitely caramel, vanilla, uh, cinnamon for sure. It's kind of just balanced all the way through. Very rich, very sweet. Uh, not like super oaky or anything. Which is good and balanced, good amount of spice, a good amount of proof. Like, not super hot, but definitely not like 100 proof. Like, definitely like somewhere between probably 115, 120. It's good. I like it. The finish sits there. Like, you get a little bit of toffee on the very back end. Toffee and cinnamon red hot. And I like it. I like it. Wow. I don't know what that was. I hope I didn't hurt your ears. All right. I'm going to take a sip of water here. And let's move on to glass number two. Okay, glass number two. This one smells a little less rich on the nose. Like you just smell like a little bit of pencil shavings, a little bit of vanilla, a light citrus, some caramel, but not super, super rich. Maybe even like a light a light hint of like a dark cherry or a plum. Not super rich, Not does not burn the nose hairs, not anything that's like, whoa, to the mind. But it doesn't smell bad, it smells good actually. Yep, all right, let's see what it tastes like. Whoa, sweet, spearminty, not like overly experimented though, like a mild rye, like a little bit of pine tree, vanilla bean. This makes me wanna have one of those white chocolate um, mochas, but with like a little bit of spearmint or like, oh, there was actually this, it reminds me of the cream. Yeah, it's creamy too. Reminds me of this like Andy's mint, like crumble cookie, like the cream on the top. It has like a little bit, but not that it's like experimenty just like mild and creamy yeah mild creamy vanilla definitely I'm assuming these are rye. this one tastes more like a rye the other one tastes like a low rye rye this one tastes like a higher rye rye but I don't know for sure but def definitely like has more of like those rye notes that I would get like the spearmint vanilla bean all combined for some creaminess and warmth and enjoyment. I like it. I like it. It's sweet too. Now I have to figure out which one I like. Depending on the mood, I could go for either one of these. Like I really like them. Mm. Like if I was in the mood for like more of a fall rice spicy experimenty one, I think I would go with glass number two. But then if I was more in a fall like 
on the beginning of fall where I'm thinking of like golden leaves and trees and like a lightly cooler temperature but still some days are in the 70s like the golden days of fall that's the glass number one that's what I feel like when I drink it mm. ah dang it I don't ah, I want to pick one over the other well I'm going to pick one over the other I just think yeah I'm gonna go with glass number one over glass number two, mainly because I feel like it fits my taste profile a little bit more with like how I'm feeling right now. Now, if you ask me tomorrow, I might change my mind, but this is just like glass number one is a little more of that cinnamon, red hot, like baked pie with like a little bit of cherry in it too, like crusted cinnamon roll kind of thing with brown sugar and super rich. And glass number two is just a little bit sweeter and that's why I'm going with glass number one. So the winner today in this Tuesday toss up is glass number one. Now let's figure out what these are. So we're going to pick the not my favorite, not as favorite one, glass number two. And that is rare breed rye. Glass number two is rare breed rye. What the heck is glass number one? Here we go. Glass number, what the heck? I love rare breed rye. Sagamore eight year rye. Dang. Holy moly, oh my gosh, I love these. And you know what, that's so weird to me because normally I think that um, rare breed rye tastes like more of like a low rye rye. Like I, it doesn't taste usually as spearminty to me, but today it did. But the sagamore, wow, oh my gosh. So like I said, given the day, depending on the day, I would pick glass one over two, glass two over one. It just depends on what mood I'm in. But today, the sagamore one, I cannot believe it, wow. Sagamore eight year rye, that's delicious. It really is. Okay, so today, Sagamore eight year rye beat out wild turkey rare breed rye. Holy freaking moly. Which one would you guys pick? Have you tried them both? What's your favorite? I wanna know, let me know in the comments. And as always, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I'll see you next time.